need to upgrade the assassin bugs enclosure. <laughs> Welcome to Scott's Inverts, I'm Scott, these are the Inverts. Okay, so today we are upgrading the Assassin Bug, the P. Herodia. Um, we're upgrading their enclosure. Um, this is down to the amount of bread, and this, this smaller enclosure is just getting far too overstocked. So we're going to make another one, put them in the Exoterra, get them in here, and show you guys uh, the final result. Um, I'm going to drop the camera down in here. Show you how many babies we've got going on in here because we've had a bit of an explosion since we did the assassin care video. Um, but yeah, and then we've also got a true spider egg sack to show you guys. Um, one of the paired females that I got the other week has now laid the egg sack, so you'll be able to see that towards the end of the video as well. So let's get the camera, take a look down in here, and I'm sure you'll see why we need to upgrade this. Okay, guys, so this is the old enclosure, perfectly fine, perfectly suitable, but. We can see a couple of assassin bugs, but as I lift them out, the amount of babies we've got now going on in there is crazy. Loads there. And we've got the adults down there as well. So what I want to do is upgrade this so they've got more area, more hiding places. Um, uh, more little places to go and hide because if you look all these tiny little holes there's also assassin bugs all in those tiny little holes as well um, I'm going to keep the media at the bottom the substrate that will be going in there as well because that's got eggs in um, so I shall have a look through the substrate and make sure that there is no eggs left as well as but yeah, it's, these guys definitely need an upgrade. I've been wanting to do it for a little while. Um, because, I, as you know, I do absolutely adore these. But yeah, let's get them into their new enclosure. So guys, this is their new enclosure. Much, much bigger than their old one. In fact, it gives you kind of a size comparison now. Especially if I put them side by side. So hopefully in here they will absolutely explode with growth. The two big pieces of cork bark um, that are in the old one are going to have to go into this new one because of the amount of babies that they've got. But look at those. Look at those. So we'll put those in. Just, actually, I might turn that just like that. So they're in. They'll be out exploring later, no doubt. But like I said, with this cork bark, all these tiny little gaps. They've all got assassin bug babies in there. So I'll also put that there, I think. Or maybe. Maybe just like that. And they've got so much more room now to have a look around in. Still got some more to go in from the old enclosure. This, this, the babies absolutely love clinging onto this and they do do a lot of shedding on there but we've got one escaped which has now gone in there there's some of the eggs this is why it's so important to go through the old substrate there we go everything's in open the doors Got a lot, lot more space. Loads of room down here for all the nymphs to hide. Loads more court bark with the little holes in for the nymphs to hide in as well. And then if I just show you from the top, we'll just keep the dogs bowling. Down there is like loads of little pieces of court bark that I've put down there again for them all to hide in. We've already got a couple that have gone in here. Um, They've all moved around, so they're all down the back, round the back of here. I know I've got some down there as well. But there was loads of eggs, to literally tons and tons of eggs that have gone into back into this one. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now let's go and have a look at the egg sack. And there's a Sally, the tiger huntsman. Just 
Look at the size of that egg sack though. There's gonna be a few in there. If I dare do this. Ah, oh, there we go. But she looks like she's actually holding a golf ball. <laughs> well, that's great news. The substrate in there is nice and damp already, so that's all good. So guys, that was the Assassin Bug um, enclosure, rehouse and upgrade. So, so chuffed we've done that, especially now we've seen the amount of eggs um, that were in there. What I showed you guys was literally about a quarter of the eggs that I've took out and um, put back in here. So we've done so much more area and so much more hiding spaces and places, places to chill out for them. Hopefully that's going to reduce the cannibalism. What I am doing is going to my red runner colony and getting out the um, the little eggs that they lay because each egg uh, equates to about 10 to 15 tiny tiny red runners so I'm putting a couple of the eggs in here and when they hatch out then the babies can feed on those as well but I'm so chuffed with did that so just with the Sally as well um, if all goes well with that tiger wandering spider egg, egg sack the babies some of those will obviously be going up for grabs with subscriber giveaways in the future so if you're not subscribed please consider doing so because that really, really does help me out. There is a subscribe button down in the corner. If you're on a phone, turn it sideways and you'll see it. And again, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, please go back and check out my invert tour because what you see behind me is literally not even half of what I've got. So that series is going to be absolutely epic. And yeah, Scott's Inverts t-shirt. Woohoo! Over at Tmail, if you type Scott's Inverts in, or if you, if you pop down into the description and go via my link, you'll see all the merchandise that we're now doing. T-shirts, different colours. Um, if you can see, the spider on there is very, very faint, um, just the way I like it. There is some lighter coloured shirts, so that spider really, really does stick out. There's also a hoodie coming out as well. So keep your eyes on the merch. The merch is down there, and it's out. Woohoo! But yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And we shall see you again on the next one. Sassy Bogs and Egg Sacks. <laughs>